U.S. military exercises in San Antonio, Texas. Be ye circumspect. Residents living in San Antonio, Texas were shaken from their sleep and rattled by loud explosions and low-flying helicopters on Tuesday as the U.S. military conducts training exercises in America's seventh largest city through Friday. But before I proceed, I would like to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rabbachah Kodash, double on tight elders at Great Millstone, singing honors to the elect, peace and blessing to the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Um, be circumspect, keep your head on the swivel. You never know what the enemy may have in store for you. So, for individuals to wake up late night, hearing helicopters flying very low, uh, I'm going to leave the article in the description box. You also had a young man saying that he was playing actually Call of Duty. His couch was rattling. He looked outside and see helicopters um, hovering quite low towards his house. Now, you had San Antonio Police Department say that they spoke with... Um, the military in advance prior to the events which been going on, I think they said for like the past four days. But then there was a councilman in the first district. He said he had no idea about it. He found out through the news. So, <laughs> pardon me, I should have turned my notifications off. So, so with that being said, that reminds me of J. Ham 15. You remember that, right? J. Ham 15. They say conspiracy theory. If it's, if, it's some, if it's somewhere leaning towards the truth, they gotta be a conspiracy theory. Fake news. Medical misinformation. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. I'm reading this from Wikipedia. J. Ham 15 conspiracy theories. Okay. Were based on the J. Ham 15 United States military training exercise. That took place in multiple U.S. states between July 15 and September 15, 2015. Oh my God, 2015? Time is flying. All right. The exercise, which involved 1,200 personnel from four of the five branches of the U.S. military, was designed to train soldiers and skills needed to operate in overseas combat environments, including maneuvering through civilian populations. First and foremost, people, understand this. These, this operation, pardon me, was taking place in Texas, Arizona, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, New Mexico, and Utah. Now they're having another military exercise in Texas. And you don't know, since 9-11, the Patriot Act has deemed all Americans as domestic terrorists. And then they revamped the Patriot Act by calling it the NDAA Act, and you still are known as a domestic terrorist, according to that um, that law that was passed during that time. But there are some people who are skeptical of this. I mean, rising inflation, meaning the dollar's losing its value, so you need more dollars to pay for the same product, even though the product may have the same quality or less than. People are quitting their jobs because they actually want to get government aid, which government aid is going to lead to people having to capitulate to the government, meaning that it's going to make way for the MOTB system. Brothers been putting up a lot of information about the MOTB system. I think, oh man, is it Japan? I think in Japan, they have it to where you can like put a tattoo of a QRC code on your wrist and you can pay for certain things. Huh? Think about what's going on with this whole um, the Alex Jones thing. Now he's being told to spend, no repay, not repay, to pay $40 million to the Sandy Hook um, victims, right? There's just so much going on throughout the world. I mean, uh, I just saw an article where a woman stabbed her two daughters 
because the father was going to win in the custody battle. And she said he, he made her do it. What? People running up inside churches and shooting religious practitioners. What? Running inside grocery stores and shooting people. What? <laughs> Elementary schools. What? So as you can see, this world is spiraling out of control. So Revelation 12 and 12, you know, say you know that he had but a short time. He shall come down with great wrath upon the people. Roughly paraphrasing, right? But I'm going to pull out some precepts. I'm not going to make this long. I just want to speak on this military exercise to make sure you be aware. I remember the elder apostle. I remember elder apostle Gabar, elder apostle Har say, he jokingly said it, but he meant it. He said, hey, when you go to sleep, go to sleep with some with a pair of shorts on, with some slacks. Because they're doing these drills, 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. Most people, like, they try to go to sleep around 12, 1, 2, 3, right? Remember, the enemy likes to come in and, and, um, when you're sleeping, okay? So this is a little bit from the article I want to read what somebody said. And it makes a lot of sense, and I like that. You know, people are circumspect to some extent. Um, man, where is it? Come on. Okay, it says, Another resident reported the military to police while one person warned his neighbors, Beware, the exercise is not military. Lock your doors and be vigilant. So there are some out here who know what the mm is going on. Let alone we the prophets starting with the elders of Great Millstone on down and fellow watchmen. Yo, we're being very circumspect. Matter of fact, let's get that. As I mentioned it, let's get it. I'm going to close out. They want to make this long, but beware. I know there's some beautiful brothers down there in Texas. Uh, the Yashawamba and all the like-minded men. You know, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Bashir Hakadash, Barak Thumb. Not only to those brothers, but to all the brothers who believe in Yahweh Bashim al Shai and the four corners of the earth. And sisters too who are part of the one third. Shalom, peace and blessings be unto you and your children. This is um Isaiah 59, 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and its glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, right? The spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against them. What is the flood? Like a kick door. Like SWAT kick down the door. SWAT! Boom! When they get that battering ram, boom! Knock your door down. First thing they do, they toss in a tactical grenade. A flashbang, boom! Eee! Your ears start ringing. Your eyes, you can't see nothing. Somebody hit you across the head with a with a baton or get on the ground. You got lights all in your face. You can't see. you just looking, right? That's what it means to come in like a flood. But the spirit of your how will lift up a standard. What's that standard for us? Faith. Now, I speak as a man when I say that. What What do you mean by that? Think of faith as an insurance. You have insurance on your car, right? You, you, you keep paying your insurance in case something happens, your insurance will back you. It will cover you. Same thing with medical insurance as well. In case something happens, it will back you. It will cover you. Well, that's what we do with our faith. Constantly reinforcing our faith because we're going to need this insurance when Jacob troubles come. But see, what's, what, 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 what becomes a part of that standard? What comes with the faith that we pay? You know how certain insurance have perks, 15% off here, 25% off there, buy one, get 50% off, whatever. The perks that come with our insurance, which is faith, is having food in that day, having water in that day, having assurance of the Holy Spirit in that day, escaping death in that day. Remember, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Right, and the angels of the Lord protecting us in that day, and the Lord may do you one even better, make you be as one of the angels in that day. Remember what it says: the most feeble among you must be like will be like David. But there's no worry about how big they are. Worry about how much you think they can bench, bench press, and all of that. Remember, David was the smallest in the stature. Took down Goliath, all through the Rabbah Chakodash. Man, don't worry about being all brawly and big and all that. Shit, even I know that, and I hit the gym. People call me big. Like, dude, you bigger than me. Man, I don't care about none of that, man. Because all, all the Lord got to do is put, a, put a, a virus on my ass, and I'm through. 
Stay humble. Stay humble. But be circumspect. So let me close out. I, like I said, I ain't gonna make this too long. I ain't gonna talk your air off. But just hit them like, damn, they do another drill. Gotta be careful. Gotta understand what's going on. America is falling. Babylon is falling. They know that all hell is gonna break through. It's gonna be complete anarchy. That's why they made movies like The Purge. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because they are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. The will of the Lord is that man should not die, but do what? Repent and keep the law, statutes, and commandments. First and foremost, Israel, and all you heathens will follow when we rule over you. And righteousness, of course. That being said, previous edify the fed, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent. Quamasha Allah, Muflababall, Shalom.